Hi Warriors, what's up? Good morning. It's your favorite WCW and we are here with another video. Ooh, to God be the glory. Because, hey, my goodness. Oh my goodness, the lazy spirit that entered me. I was not, not I didn't have any drive or anything. I was just too lazy to get up, you know. I have been resting, you know. We're on vacation, vacay, and I, I have been relaxing, you know. So just to do anything, I was just like, hey, this YouTube, let me come and make this video for my warriors, for my people. So I'm doing this for you guys. So please pay me back and like, comment, subscribe, share to all of your friends, your enemies, so that we can pepper them. Your relatives, your husband, you don't know if I can help you find your future lover. Who knows, by sharing it, the person can just be like, oh wow, I can just hit you up. I can link you to your destiny. You never know. So, what we are here to do in today's video is give advice <clears throat> from my experience, from my own first professional exam, that's my very first MB, from my junior ones my student level babies that are there currently and those to come like just the experience what i wish i knew then that i know now and just expectations versus reality you know so maybe right now you're still preparing for your third in course or you're not really preparing for your mb yet right and then you expect that this is going to be you're most pre like you're going to prepare like crazy for this exam that okay the amount of energy you put for your in course you put more for your mb or you'll be telling yourself that it's like i'm going to this is my most prepared exam ever like i'm going to prepare for it forget the other ones or every single day you're going to be on it you're going to be at your 101 percent because like yes this is my first special exam so i'm going to i'm going to chase it with these chickens leave I wish I, I wish I had this stone. I wish I had this stone. Why are you coming here? Yeah, get out. Okay. They are still here. Anyways, featuring the chickens. They are going to be here. Clearly. So anyways, you think that okay, that you're going to cover up for what you missed out in your MB, for what you missed out in your in course, in your MB, just all of that. But then the reality is that you see that you are still tired for your MB. You're not really giving it your all as you expect. You you think that okay, you're going to cover the entire scheme. You're going to cover like the what you missed out in your um, your in courses. You're going to cover it all of it out for your MB. That's not really always the reality, especially because it's not everything that they'll ask you for your MB. That's the very, that's the truth. There are some topics they just give you by the side, okay, just know it. Like as a doctor, just know this, but they will not, you will not see it. You will not see it in your exam at all, hey? I know one, cardiac cycle. It's, it's, it's an important topic, it's very true. It's very important that you know it. But people in my class, that exam, that, that topic like this, we know we do not see that in an exam once in physiology. So you just know what I'm talking about. There are just some topics that you just know, okay, you know this won't come out in the exam. They want to just give you something different. So there are some topics you know that, okay, I need to focus on this more, right? Like you need to focus on some particular topics more than the others. Just that type of pattern. Oh, that's the mindset you should have when you're preparing for this first professional exam. Like, you have to be strategic. So, I think I've been talking too much. Let me begin letting you know, like, the things I wish I knew then, or things I did, just giving you my general experience and everything. Tips to just help you through your own process. So, number one, I wish I really, like, just have that God factor that 
um, have that conscious awareness that there's a spiritual being, right? Because when you're going to be preparing for this exam, you're going to be drained, you're going to be tired, you're going to be sad a lot of time. I mean, I was. I, I know a lot of my friends that they got sad. I wouldn't use the word depressed because it was very, it wasn't really depression, but it was a thin line. It was a very thin line, like it was this close. This close. It was a very thin line. So, um, you just be so drained. Activities you normally like doing, you won't even feel the energy again. You're just uh, struggling to get by each day. And that's how it really felt. So just having... I'm constantly thinking, okay, I can't do this. And that thought only comes in when you are relying on yourself. But when you rely on it, like when you like, okay, I'm a Christian, so I'm going to like speak. Okay, when you rely on God, honestly, when you rely on God and just leave all, because you're going to have so much worries, just so much fear. You're like, what if I can't do this? Um, I didn't really do well in my in courses. So what makes you think I'll do well in my MB? You need to know that what God will do for you is on the matter. Like God works in mysterious ways. Like, see, even if okay, every single in course you have written, you always had a particular receipt or something. Oh, surprise, yeah, make you pass every single paper. Maybe not even just pass. Like, you're seeing bees. You're seeing bees. Even distinctions. You're like, surprised. You're like, what? Like, seriously. You're like, because there's so many things to read. There are so many things to read. So when you rely on God, let's say you go to sleep, you wake up. God has literally streamlined what you should read. Like, he just direct you, okay read this topic for your exam it happened to my friend she's a living testimony so that was one thing i think i really didn't bank on enough really that's if i could go back in time and redo one of those things that's one of the um that's one of the things i would actually do again do better but now i've learned i mean this is a learning experience learn from your mistakes move on teach others so that they learn from your experiences too now at the same time there were people there are people who rely solely on God and then it still didn't come out their way. It's not as if, okay, God favors one person or the other. I, I can't really explain it. I don't really understand it. I don't really understand. You know, life can be annoying in that way. But um, what I can say maybe is just, like one of what one of our lecturers said, one of our doctors, was that, it's actually the opportunity for you to go back. Don't even just focus on, okay, somebody's ahead of me. I mean, it will come to your head. Like, oh my goodness, my mates are leaving me and I'm still here. But don't let it get you down. Don't think about it too much. He was saying that, trust me, it's easier said than done, I know. But what he was saying was that, just take it as an opportunity to go back and emphasize on that topic that you feel that, okay, I missed out on it like I'm coming back to this because I missed out on it because the aim is to be a good doctor at the end of the day so just really focus on that just I focus on God God will also help you to that pain I mean uh, so yeah <laughs> that's the God factor that I'm talking about basically now the next thing having the idea that you will probably finish your entire scheme you are not and why I'm saying that is because maybe you're close to your exam and you see you haven't finished your whole scheme you now start beating yourself over feeling bad that is not what you should be doing what you should be doing is focus on just keep on reading keep on revising that's the better people we'll get to that now because there's no time for you to be like beating yourself up right because clearly you won't finish everything that's a fact you will not finish everything. That's why you should have God do. Because God can just help you at least cover the high yield topics. He will just guide you to what is high yield. Because there are some topics that you are using your whole energy to read. And at the end of the day, you will not even see one question in it. One MCQ. You will not even see one viral question in it. Because this exam has MB, um, sorry, MCQ, theory, practical, viva. And then you see your reading low yield topic that in every single exam... From your MCQ, your theory to your viva to your practical, they did not ask on this at all. Do you understand? So that's why that good factor is just very important, so that you just direct you to read really high yield topics. And at the same time, you too, you just know that okay, this is one topic. So as I was saying, so like, 
focus on like the higher term because truly you will not be able to finish your entire scheme ah you're looking at your scheme of 200 level first semester 200 level second semester 300 level and then well 300 level topics also include community medicine igmc the whole the whole plate so obviously you will not finish every day and that igmc and cms they do not find me but that thing is gst in this guy that's i mean in medicine that thing is gst in this guy if you know you know if you know you know now moving on to the next topic or rather the next point revise 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 yeah. revising is just as important if i is more important is important than reading new topics why going for an exam no okay you have finished the whole scheme you finish the whole scheme. Clap for you. But then you cannot remember anything. Do you get? It's not a nice thing at all. It's not nice. So it's important that you revise. I'm coming. And it's so important that you revise. Revision is so important. Ah. You should really set up a be able to set up a way to just know that okay a schedule for yourself that i'm going back to revisit these particular topics i'm going back to revisit this thing that i may have forgotten because you to you feel okay i know this thing i really know this thing but then it will shock you you have forgotten you have forgotten it or you have forgotten some key details or you're mixing up some details and it happens don't feel bad trust me don't feel bad don't feel bad it happens what you just need to focus on is remind yourself that everybody forgets things every single person and even if not the person beside you doesn't really forget things like that you shouldn't be comparing yourself with others because it just <laughs> so you shouldn't feel bad about that like everybody forgets even the smartest person in your class forgets but the main thing you should even be comparing yourself to that in the first place <laughs> You shouldn't be comparing yourself to others in the first place. Like, run your race, focus on yourself, okay? And then, I think this will be my fourth point. Your shoulder. Pa- Just shut up. Your shoulder pads like this. Your shoulder pads. I'm begging you, lower them. You gotta be humble because you shouldn't be afraid to ask. You shouldn't be afraid to ask the next person in your class a particular thing or two about your this thing, some topics that they have taught you. Because somebody in your class would understand it better, they would just grasp it better. It happens. These things are really, really. Anyways back to what I was saying so um two thousand years later the ogre of the chickens has finished making noise let's get back to our video so as I was saying um I'm trying to remember where I stopped I think I was talking about um Yes, you shouldn't be afraid to ask people in your class to help explain a particular topic to you. Because me, if somebody should explain something to me well, oh my goodness, I I don't think I'll actually forget it again. Because when they explain it to me, especially somebody that explains it, because that person will understand it well. So when they explain, they'll break it down, they will dumb it down so well. That I'm even surprised. I'm like, this topic is actually quite simple. It looks confusing from the textbook. But when somebody else now breaks it down for you, makes it simpler, like how they understood it, they break it down to you. You to your understanding are like, it's benefiting yourself, it's benefiting the person. So you're helping each other. It's a, it's a, this thing, mutual growth. You're helping each other out. It's very good. It's very good. So, that's another piece of advice. Lower your shoulder pad. Don't be afraid to ask. Don't be afraid to ask your mates for particular for help. When I say ask for help, I don't mean ask for help in the exam hall. Though. Just putting that out there. So yes, when you um, the next point I'd say, don't be afraid to like. As you're also talking to your mates, talk to like your friends when you're feeling down. 
because MB depression is real. MB depression is very, very, very real. So you should definitely talk with your friends like how you're feeling. And then you would also need to take breaks. Like you will burn out if you don't. You will burn out. I'm telling you the truth. And then when you're burning out, you're also going to be depressed. You're going to be so depressed because if you like when you burn out, your brain cannot really even take in any more information. It's just saturated. It's just saturated. So if you're telling me so for the entire day, you spend the entire day reading, like 24 hours, which I fr quite frankly I don't even think that's possible. <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't think it's possible. But you have spent the whole 24 hours. They will not give you prize for the most stressed out medical students. I'm I was telling my I said this on my WhatsApp one time. They won't give you an award for that. They will not. So please, my dear, don't be afraid to take a break from this medicine and surgery and rest. But then don't, don't go overboard. You still have an exam to prepare for. I'm just going to say that too. But just take you know, as much time as you need. But don't end up taking an entire week. That's, I think that's a lot. That's what I think. For you, it may just be watching, it may just be like enough amount of time for you, then you're back on track. But I'm just saying it so just to help you. Like, I'm also talking about my experience. Like, I know during my experience preparing for this exam, I would not take a week to rest <laughs> because I will now start stressing and worrying about the amount of time that I have used, or rather, the amount of time that I have wasted. So on that note, I think my last one was talking about talking about like, um, sorry, taking breaks, like taking like rest in during this period. I really have a lot more to say, but I don't know. My camera is really acting up. It is really acting up. So I'm going to have to end the video here. So I really hope that this video was useful. I hope it was helpful to whoever. I also wish, I hope if you have more questions, you can definitely ask in the comments. I will reply you, definitely. Maybe another time out, if I can, <laughs> I'll probably send like an anonymous, okay, ask your questions about your MB. Then I'll answer them on my YouTube channel. Maybe I just need to charge this battery. But while manifesting for a better camera in the future, while manifesting, while praying. So for now, thanks Warriors, thanks for watching this video to the end. That's all I have to say. Bye.